All right, I lied. I felt empowered to just do a new intro. This is the bony knife. We just finished the video on that. We have the other Dow Strong knives as well, the Shadow Black series, the cleaver, the utility knife. We have them up here in my super secret, not so secret now that I showed everyone on the internet, spot to put them. Oh my God, that's a knife flying at me. That's, uh, that was good. Yeah, you just can't, you just can't tap stuff. You know what I mean? But now that it's like that, it's a solid man, solid. If you saw in the other video, um, the finish of that, we got like some sunlight in the uh, reflection. You can see there's, there's no stripes on here in their process, the curing process of these handles, I guess. But this bony knife, can you see that in the case? Yeah, you can. It's kind of striped. Why is that? What'd you do to me, Dow Strong? I buy a thousand dollars of your knives. And again, I can't stress it. I stress it every video. Everything on this channel is bought by me. Some stuff's supplied, and if it is, I tell you, but I'm telling you right now, this stuff is bought by yours truly. And we, let's do the big boy. We are unboxing today the Shadow Black series. What is this? I don't even know. The nine inch bread knife, because who doesn't like some bread, right? It's a serrated bread knife, and that's to replace the other bullshit bread knife bukkake that we have. Coffee? Cheers, let's unbox this bad boy. We're ready, we're ready for invasion. Let's do it, we're gonna throw her right up here. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more stuff like this. Let me know, comment down below if you want anything else, I don't know. But uh, we just unboxed the carving board, the cutting board. I guess it could be a carving board. And, uh, oh, come on. Let the unboxing commence of the Dow Strong Shadow Black Series serrated nine inch bread knife. Black titanium nitride coated. High carbon. Seven CR seventeen MOV X vacuum treated steel. You see that? Yeah, I know. I'm just reading the, the uh, label. What the hell the fuck am I gonna know? You know what I mean? These are some nice knives. Like, look, I'm not a knife collector. Do I save this packaging? Comment down below. Let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn, Daddy. I mean, I'm saving these. These are sick. Care booklet. You get these with all of them. Oh, I got two this time? Nah, these are different. Free VIP membership. Join for up to date. Yeah. That's cool. Read that if you're interested. I'm interested in the meat and potatoes. This one too. Why do they look crusty like that? They're ashy. So weird. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe this can be cleaned out. I mean, obviously I'm gonna clean the knife anyway, but what you've all been waiting for, uh, me too, is the unsheathening of this serrated nine inch bread knife. Now I have a shittier bread knife over there. This was also $69.99. I said in a recent video, $59.99 is our price point. Not for the big boys. Not for the interesting boys. Wow, that's a, that's a nice blade. Let's get this out of here. Um, before I give you my thoughts, after this is the second one that has consistently had a problem, although I have maybe seven other Dow Strong Shadow Black Series knives uh, with their handle. It's a resin handle, G10. It doesn't, they don't have any problems. This one is having that problem. Pretty sharp on the end right there, wow. And then we're serrated. What I love about a serrated knife is it bites as it cuts. It's solid. Um, 
But again, I, I buy these myself, so I'm going to be totally honest with you. That's disappointing. It, it looks like something in there, it, like a, in the production process. I wonder if heat will fix that. Run these under hot water, maybe a heat gun. But they look smoky and ashy, and it's... That's not cool. Do better, Dow Strong. I'm a little upset with that. But that doesn't deter me from loving the product. I just am a little hurt by that. Nice finish elsewhere. Your Dow Strong logo. I could, I could go. It's their logo, so I get it. I could go without the logo. I'd rather just Shadow Black series. You know what I mean? Even without that, it'd be fine. Very ergonomic. Love the shape of these handles. Love the shape of the handles. 58 plus HRC allows extraordinary performance and edge retention, so they say. The edge retention on the other knives I have, I will say, is magnificent. Styling's dope. And uh, each blade comes with a matching black space-saving sheath, which, where did I just put that? Here we go. That was awkward. Here it is. I'm gonna hold on to those for the time being, but I really don't see a necessity on it. I think it's just extra space and cardboard that I don't need, and I like being minimal with my life, so I think we're gonna get rid of them unless some of you convince me. One of you convinces me down below. And again, this is the end that goes towards the tip of the knife. This goes towards the handle. Why? Because of that little slat at the bottom. Notice this is straight, one straight line. This is straight and then drops off. Look at that wind. Wow. What is going on? About to get a storm, baby. So this is going to go into the knife crevice. We're out here in beautiful paradise, the tropical world of tropical worlds out in the rainforest. And I think that's what we're going to call this, the Rainforest HQ, because it looks like a rainforest. I don't know what, we're not in AC anymore. The penthouse is sold. We are elsewhere. And I love this, man. Nice little, nice little ranchero rancher. Get the garage going up soon. I'm very excited for what's to come. Uh, a lot of outdoor videos, a lot of shooting videos, things like that. Um, a lot of stuff coming with the CZ and everything. I'm not going to play with guns. That's loaded right now. I'm not going to mess with it on camera. Let me know what else you want. Otherwise, the candle's lit, the ambiance is set. $69.99, 74 ratings on Amazon. I bought this with my own money. I'm just giving you my honest advice. The only rules are owner rules and cheers. Let me know what else you want us to review. I got one left and then I'm gonna do an overall thought. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Watch these videos till the end and yeah, so. Mmm, look how muddy that coffee is. French pressed, homegrown roasted beans. Ah, it's Pete's coffee, because Pete's makes the best coffee. Got a review coming on this soon, and also on the Yeti Cooler review is probably out, but the lunchbox and that 5.11 double tap bag, that is hands down the best bag I've filmed with in a long, long time. So there you have it. Comment down below, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. I probably repeated that like six times by now, but I can't stress it enough. And I'll give you guys an update on this after I use it. Um, the other ones that I've used, I have, like I said, several. I spent over a thousand bucks on Dow Strong products. And then this is what I end up with. Why didn't I notice this in the beginning? You know what I mean? Why didn't I see this in the beginning? Or why didn't I experience this? I probably wouldn't have bought as many, just being honest, but they're sick looking knives. Like I don't, I don't, I've never walked into a kitchen and seen a knife that looked as good as that. That's a wine rack over there. Pretty dope. Yeah. So just let me know what you guys think. Have a nice day. I love you.